It's everything. All right, so here we go. We should be able to hear things now. I guess there was no music that whole start. That's too bad. Anyhow, I, so it was just me listening to that lovely elevator music. All right, anyhow. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, this is the Spy Party Masters League, I guess. Ma okay, yeah. Masters League. Yeah, so yeah, you, can make, yeah, you can make quotes on any part of that if you want. Except for the two. This is definitely the second one of these. There's no question about that. Anyhow, so yeah, so this is the uh, Masters League. We are apparently revealing all the uh, all the players' uh, positionings in the divisions. I guess there was some sort of preseason tournament that sort of settled some of that. Anyhow, uh, we got uh, apparently experts here. They, I mean, I don't know. They they seem to be unsure about whether or not they're experts. But uh, we got uh, Rob here. Hello. Hello. The air quotes are accurate. Yes. Yes. One of the, yes. One of the most experty experts, and then mm -hmm. Silverthorn. I, I heard you're pretty expert. Hello, hello. Um, we'll see about that. Yep, and then I mean Mart Martini, obviously, that's an expert. Yeah, I like to pretend. Yeah, yeah, and then the biggest expert of them all is is Josh. Due to current local events, we were not able to secure an expert at this time, so we got me instead. <laughs> yeah. Stay safe, people. I mean, you're an expert at something, I, I assume. Maybe not this, but. Yes. All right. Anyway, so I guess we're going to do reveals. I'm not sure exactly, uh, you know, I didn't really plan this out how exactly we're going to do this, but I mean, I guess we start with Emerald. And just, Let's do that. And just go bang. Here you go. There's Emerald. Yosh. There you are. Right at the bottom. Oh not for long. <laughs> I mean, you're technically right now, you're tied for first. Technically. Yeah, that's fair, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty... I mean, then we got, you know, Hornet, Lavinuk, uh, Magic Tour. Bai. Bai is going to be real dangerous, I'm sure. <laughs> and then, yeah... yeah Bai got... was undefeated last season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but Bai never won either, so it's, you know, Bai is just kind of right in the middle. Man, you should have seen that game, though. <laughs> yep. All right. Anyhow, so yep. So I'm gonna show off the. These are the uh, the first three weeks of matches. Yosh, you're gonna go against Wangling, and then Blood Red Yeti gets to face by. That's gonna be an intense one. Yeah. So yeah, those are the first three, and uh, I don't know. Should I be moved? Should I should I move on to the next division or do we go straight to predictions? I would assume we'd go to predictions first. Just All right, so here we go. Here's the, the predictions. League league. All right, so here we go. Here's the predictions. Who do we? Who do we, Who wants to start? Uh, I guess Rav, since you were first. In the names. Okay, I can start. I'm just looking at the at the overlay yeah. and thinking. I'm just confused. I'm. We we, we put. Each player in a position in the league, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What place do you think okay. they're going to finish at, basically? Holy okay. hell, Silver ended up in Masters. All right, in which case... Um, Come on. I will start with the most secure predictions, I think, in this in this division, yeah, yeah. which is probably uh, Blood Red Yeti in 8th and Filing in ninth, uh, okay. just because they are the most... Inexperience, I guess, in 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 this in in, in this division, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, mean... I think filing. I, I know filing through through other games, and they are a smart person. So I think if they get into practicing and and uh, and learning the game, they could they could definitely be good. But I think it's too early for, to predict them any higher. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got uh, Lavanuk in seventh and Calame in sixth. I think they're pretty uh, different styles of play, but I think they. Are probably uh, fairly evenly matched. Yep. <laughs> uh, then I've got Magic Duo in fifth. Hmm. Magic Duo uh, hasn't played much competitive in a while, but when they did back in SEL six in bronze, they were pretty strong. So he I does think magic though. I mean, you he does do magic. I think I think just enough magic to get into fifth. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, I think 
they are a bit rusty probably, but have the ability to be much higher than that. Uh, my top four is going to be Josh Forth, had a good run well, in yeah. the he... recent Winter Cup, so yeah. I think there's no reason not to put him anywhere high. Uh, anywhere lower. Division. Yeah. Anywhere lower, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and then could... I've got I've got Verdus in third, okay. same sort of as Magic Dur, just uh, yeah. a bit rusty, but, but is strong. Bernardo Bread in second, and Hornet in first. Okay, yeah, that's... I think I remember Hornet being pretty dang good. And then, I guess, unfortunately, by is gonna is it gonna be in tenth? Unfortunately, yes. That's okay. Uh, so, Arthur, you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> unsurprisingly, by only my tenth for me as well. <laughs> for by. Um, you guys are way too harsh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I also got Filing in, in nine. Uh, oh. Filing is our only new player this season. Yeah, it's pretty um, rough being a brand at, new player yeah, and jumping in a competitive. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, it's especially rough. Ideally, we want like seven more of these yeah. so they can have their own division. Yeah, I mean, um, at the I time, mean, this is like the lowest division, but there are some monsters in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, My so looks have nothing to do with those predictions. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Last season we ran six divisions. This this season it's four divisions. So there's like three different divisions folded into this one. So that's yep. why it's a little mm -hmm. little weird. To yeah. Um, in eighth for me, Blood Red Yeti as well. Um, promoted out of the bottom division last time because there were only two players in it <laughs> at the end. So I'm I'm happy that between Yeti and Bunny we get to offer at least one of them. A real division this time. Uh, <laughs> Big boy division. Yeah. Then seven, Lavinuk. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Prove me wrong. No further comment. <laughs> okay. In, uh, what are we at? Sixth? Yep, sixth. <laughs> yeah, and sixth, I got Josh in sixth. Oh, um, come Josh on. Got... Yeah, yeah. Famously shafted last time by our incomplete tiebreaker rules. Mm -hmm. So this time, this time I'm gonna make it unambiguous, Josh. You don't have to. You don't have to complain to me for a year <laughs> about tiebreaker rules. Hopefully, <laughs> this time. Um, in fifth, I got Calame. Okay. I seriously underestimated Calame last predictions. I think I put them. Way at the bottom, and then they they promoted out mm -hmm. of the division. I'm not sure if this is that much better than what I did last year. I think it's a little better. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got Hornet and fourth actually. Mm, wow, that's um, a big difference. Both both Hornet and Calame haven't. Well, Calame has played both both cups since the last league. Hornet hasn't actually played any of the big events. So mm -hmm. I think they're both not not super active right now. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I think solid middle for both of them looks looks right to me. Um, mm -hmm. And third, I've got Magic Doer. Um, and as Rob said, um, Magic Doer played in bronze in SCL six and seven mm -hmm. seven as well. I think. Um, this is not, in fact, Magician 1099, which yeah, is a, so th this is the other magic a misconception person. I've encountered a couple of times. Yeah, it's yeah. the other magic person. Yeah. It's not, in fact, a former Diamond player. Yeah. Um, magic Tour was a was a solid solid middle of the road player, I think, mm -hmm. when he last played. Um, so he's going to be super rusty when he comes in. So strength of schedule is probably going to be a thing for him. Mm -hmm. um, as far as I saw, he plays Verders the first week. So maybe lucky for Verders. I don't know. Yeah. And then uh, a few new players afterwards. And then the um, the Hornets and so forth mm -hmm. towards the end of the season. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's a good schedule for for Magic Tour, honestly. Yeah. Then we got the top um, two. Yeah, from the top two, I got Banana Bread in second. Okay, and then I guess that means and then that means Verdus in first. Okay. Um, I guess we're not doing championship 
prediction because that could go the other way around. If we had to do that, I would say we're just wins the regular season and then banana mm. bread makes the championship. Okay. But they would both they would both promote out anyhow. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then uh, Martini, <laughs> what do you got? All right, so starting off, um, so 10th, 9th, and 8th are going to look pretty similar. I have okay. by oh. and then f- oh, followed by Filing and Blood Red Yeti. Okay. Um, so Filing, uh, I think we mentioned that they're the only new player in this tournament, so I haven't seen them yet, but... Um, Hopefully we get to see some some good p- gameplay from them. Um, and Yeti, uh, a regular in tournaments, but hasn't put up uh, too much results yet. So this might be this might be their uh, breakout if they're going to make some uh, make their way up here. Um, and next up, I have Magic Doer, mainly because I'm not familiar with their game. Um, I have made the mistake of mistaking them for magician from time to time, but <laughs> I don't think I was around when Magic Doer was uh, active. Yeah. I think okay. they might have been in, in like SCL. Okay, so you got them in seventh. Is that the right thing? I was, I yeah, was distracted. Yeah. Okay, yeah, for makes Magic. sense. Yep. That's, oh man, he's gonna be all he's all over the map in predictions right yeah, now. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> We'll yeah, see. I guess that tends to happen when you haven't been around for yeah, a while. Yeah, so I kind of, kind of lean yeah. towards being rusty. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, spy party rest is real. And next up, I have Calame. Ooh. Calame has some varied results. Um, mm-hmm. He he can be pretty strong when he's on, but uh, sometimes they're not on their game. We'll mm-hmm. see. We'll see how it turns out. Yep. And then I have Ferdus in Whoa. fifth. Yeah. Big difference. Mm, big difference. Yeah. It is a little lower than the other ones. Um, not that I have anything against him, but uh, I think I think this is going to be a pretty pretty close division, uh, yeah. especially in the middle. And then in fourth, I have Lavenuk. Okay, wow. What? Lavenuk is also a, another high variance player. Mm-hmm. You can see him put up some pretty good results as well as bomb out. Interesting player to watch for sure. In third, I have Hornet. Whoa. I think I think Hornet has a very good chance of being in the top two, um, but yeah, I, yeah. I obviously couldn't leave uh, number two Yash out of the championship. Yeah, game. yeah, of course. Nice. Oh, obviously. So that means so that means banana bread number one for you. I do have banana bread number one. Yes, and I'm actually a little surprised that he's. Uh, I'm the only number one prediction for him so far because I think um, I think BB could easily be in a higher division and do well uh, in those. So yeah, I have him in first. Okay. The thing I know about him is that he plays to his competition a little. So you're you're right. I agree with you. And he tends to do worse against players he perceives as not as good. Mm-hmm. All right. So Yash, where where do you think? Uh... How do you know the expert. Yeah, you're the expert. As the, the local real... expert on the Yosh matters, yeah. I, I am a little bit of a scientist myself. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are exactly two places where you can put Yosh without looking like an idiot. It's uh-huh. either dead first as a meme or dead last as a meme. Okay. I'm going to choose the second one here. Oh, you're dead uh, last? Honestly, people are saying a lot about my run in Winter Cup where I kind of lucked out, but... <laughs> Uh, the main thing that we're going to see in this division is a lot of people are um, a little bit coin flippy and the amount of recent performance, the amount of recent practice will come into play pretty highly. And uh, anyone who has been spectating the placement tournament that uh, has been held just so I don't get to just so I get to shut up about the lack of tie breaks, mm-hmm. has proven that I actually do, in fact, belong in a division that's two divisions below Emerald. So, yeah. Gonna keep myself down there. Uh, okay. Now, 
My next three predictions are also gonna be by Blood Red Yeti and Filing, but Action. I'm actually gonna switch the order slightly. Oh, okay. So I am in fact gonna put, uh, well, by ninth, okay. because I'm only gonna dunk on myself, as is tradition yeah. in the self deprecation masters yeah. league. <laughs> um, but I am actually gonna put Yeti below Filing. Okay. Now interesting. There that is a little bit of a uh, like hope prediction because there have been new players who join for a tournament and then bounce off. Uh, okay. If you're listening to this, Doctor Balanced, I'm really sorry, and I am gonna put the commentary out at some point in the future. So you're saying um, you're filing at eight, Yeti at seven? Uh, I'm gonna put Yeti below filing. Oh, okay, so so the same as oh, so, Yeti eight yeah, okay, filing. Yeah, yeah. So seven. yeah, just just slightly. Yeah, not bad. So, so everybody said um, eight for Yeti, but you're just saying you're gonna be below pe Yeti. People, people are picking the cat in the box uh, below Yeti, but mm -hmm. Yeti has been a quite a known commodity, and we had a somewhat rivalry for the last place, which he seems to Ooh. be winning quite decisively. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, but you're so gonna I try am it. gonna choose the box okay. in this particular case. Okay, but you're still going uh, to try to beat him at being the worst. There are a few uh, more people who are in, like, the similar uh, brackets, or rather classified similarly. I think, to me, personally, Levenuk and Kalame are also going to be in the same, like, group. Okay. Uh, but I am actually gonna put Verdress below both of them, because wow. I know that while Verdress is capable mm. of putting out a victory against me to kick me out of the playoffs in a Winter Cup group at the last possible moment, and he did it like twice, mm -hmm. um, he also has a bit of a real-life uh, busyness moment, where... He's uh, just busy, he's not gonna be playing much, this is meta information, I get it because I'm the expert. Info. Yeah, mm. got, got the tech. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Levin, you can kill me. Uh, gonna go up next, both of them are quite coin okay. flippy, and uh, current performance is gonna be huge for both of them. So honestly, I'm just gonna say it's down to personal preference, and I much prefer kill me over Levinuk, because okay. as far as Levinuk is interesting to watch, Playing him is quite an experience in, in of itself. Um, up next, we do have uh, our diamond player. We do have Hornet, who to me has been probably <laughs> the most interesting person in Sapphire. Okay. And we do have Banana Bread, who has been a very good player for a while now. And I believe we did have him around. <laughs> yep. But he actually never quite got to any like, significant success, which has been very sad for me. Unfortunately, I believe there's only so long that you can, like, play well, but not well enough. And I think I'm gonna give Magic Doer and Hornet the benefit of the doubt and put them in red third. Okay. Uh, and as for the finals, I know Hornet wants me to pick him second because he doesn't want to be put first because of the pressure, and I'm actually gonna oblige. Okay, so second because... and Magic Doer first? Wow. Yeah, gonna put the diamond player yeah. first. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have to point out that people here are kind of underestimating Kelame. He is a bit coin flippy, but in Sapphire he has been like third he highest spy win rate yeah. in the whole he league or something. His spy does stuff, his sniper is very interesting and probably my most interesting sniper. My pick for the most interesting sniper that is not talked about. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put highlight on Kelame and I'm gonna leave my predictions as that. Okay, sounds good. All right. Now, that's it for Emerald. I guess we're gonna jump on to Ruby now, which is uh, gonna be a slightly smaller division. Uh, no, but no, Vi Vi is not gonna be participating in this division. So, so eight players. We got good old Psycho Sauce. I'm Fire Lord Ethan kind of scares me. In this division, I mean, he's just a fire yes, lord. Pretty scary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun people in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, a lot of one, good, yeah. one piece of info on this maybe the the astute viewer or follower of <laughs> our preseason tournament and or last season might notice the absence of Martini. Yep. 
from this list um, and the presence of Jay Scarney instead. Yep, yep. Um, this is an admin decision we made. Um, Martini did demote into Ruby last season, hmm. and Jay Scarney got eighth in the preseason tournament, which would have entitled him, would have entitled him to a master yep. slot. Mm -hmm. Since we filled the entire master division from preseason, yep. um, we swapped them with the consent of post players. Um, we figured this is a, a band aid for the amount of drops we experienced, and it's mm -hmm. we think it's gonna make the the entire thing yep. instantly All better right. and, and for everyone. So, All right. and here's a little preview of the first three weeks. We got uh, these matchups here. Gonna be some scary matches for some of them, I suspect, but all all evenly matched, I, I I'm assuming. Roughly. We'll see. Alright, I'll jump over to uh the predictions for Ruby. Let's go. Alright, I mean do we wanna go in the same order or do we wanna mix it up? Um I don't mind going first again. All right, go, yep, go for it, Rav. Uh -huh. I'll go for it. Alrighty. Um, where to start with Ruby? I think it's a pretty even division. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, the level of players here is slightly higher than Emerald, as you'd expect. Um, but I do think there are a few clear ones. I think I'm gonna put Iggy in eighth. Oh. Okay. Um, again, I think Iggy will be suffering from the rust factor. That I, I, I don't think they're particularly active. Um. Mm -hmm. And there are quite a lot of strong players in this in this division, so I think that's the the easiest prediction to make. Um, but I think they'll still get some points. Uh, in sixth and seventh, I've got uh, Aiko in sixth and Jay Scarney in seventh. I think uh, Jay Scarney had a really good preseason and uh, has certainly been very active in playing a lot. Uh, okay. So I can see, I can see them getting. I, okay. I think, I think like the middle of the division will, will, will be quite close. Um, so I think, despite seventh, I think they um, they'll get some good, some some good results. Aiko is a perennial play above their level, but below. Uh, as in. They play up to people, but the, and the, and also down to people as well. So I can yeah, see he Aiko, always subverts yeah. expectations yeah. in yeah, both I, ways. I could, <laughs> I could, I could, I could see Aiko, I could see Aiko dropping points to Jay Scarney and Iggy, and then beating Violet Ethan. Yep. I mean, he was Scout. also every he player. Just... I mean, that way, he's every player in Hidden Cup because he just he can, yeah, <laughs> he can look like any kind of player. Yeah, he's 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 stronger when he doesn't know who he's playing. I think. Um, yeah. I think he's got he's got he's got a great sniper. He's spy and he's to do more stuff, which is rich from, uh, I guess, coming from me. But still, um, but yeah, I I think, I think he if he believes in in, in himself, he could be higher than that. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fifth, I have gentleman. Um, Sorry. I'm probably. Being a bit harsh on gentleman here because I've had experience playing game, playing game in the past, which has not been, it's been like he's a, he's a top opponent, so um, I think he also has the ability to be higher than that. Uh, but putting him in fifth is a bit of a safe pick, I think. Okay. Um, then top four, I've got Roxo in fourth, very solid okay. player, I think. Yep. Um, has a good spy, good sniper. Will compete against most per uh, will, comp will compete against most players. Uh, I've got Psycho in third. Psycho is uh, probably one of the sort of I guess classes the old guard in uh, in this division for sure. And they're a strong player, I think. Um, underrated a, a a little bit. I think I underrated him last season as well uh, when they were in Emerald and they had a good they had a they had a good season. So I think third for him. And the top okay. two is a tough one. I think. I think when you're looking at being co like successful in competitive spy party, you're looking at effort, skill, and activity as like the three sort of benchmarks. Mm -hmm. And I think Ethan fits all of them at the moment. Uh, whereas Scout's not isn't quite as active. Yeah. Um. So I think if Scout was more active, I'd probably put Scout above Ethan. But I think because Ethan is playing a lot and really grinding and really. Trying to learn more about the game, I want to put Ethan in first and Scout in second, okay. and then I think based on 
I guess, stressful match by party experience. I'm going to put Scout winning the final huh, uh, okay. match between the two. Yeah, that's fair. Huh? All right. Uh, Silver, Arn, you got any? You got All any, right. Got any opinions? Um, yeah. I, ex expert opinions, I should say. <laughs> I don't know. No, they're not going to be expert, okay? <laughs> okay. But I got opinions for you. You are okay. supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> Well, whatever. Anyway, um, I put an eight. I put a echo, and oh, after no. what Rob said, I actually feel a little bad about that yeah. <laughs> because I I agree with everything that Rob said. Um, mm -hmm. Echo is a very high variance player. Um, can play way above his level, but also way under. Um, mm -hmm. I think that. I also agree that maybe this is not knowing exactly who he's playing in the new players of Scorny and Ethan is exactly what yep. he needs to do a little better. Mm -hmm. um, take some of that expectation pressure off. Um, so yeah, this this might be entirely wrong, but this is what I this is what I did. Mm -hmm. So here we are. <laughs> and maybe sevens, if you had I a better have... profile picture, huh? Yeah, the, hmm. you tried a little harder with that. <laughs> I thought you were a meme, Kletos. No, that was that's his that's his actual profile picture. Uh, Looks pretty generic. Yeah. 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 Um, in seventh I've got Iggy. Um Okay. It's also similar to what Rob had, I think. Um Iggy's pretty much playing for funsies at this point, I think. Which I respect. I hope I hope he gets that out of this. Um, both Iggy and Aiko went one two in the preseason, which was just enough to get into here because of again the amount of drops we had. Mm -hmm. um, and so this this next one, this next bit. So the middle part of Ruby was really hard to predict. I found that was like the second hardest thing out of mm -hmm. the entire league. So whatever I'm saying now, if if someone told me it was exactly the opposite way, I would say, sure, sure, why not? Yeah. I tried to predict this by um, by actually going to predict the individual matches and seeing how that panned out. But every second match, I was like, well, I, I guess this could be a draw, I, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so I ended up with um, Gentleman at sixth. Okay. Um, the... From what I from what I heard, the um, casual player gentleman is way higher level than the competitive player gentleman oh, at the moment. Based. So he'll he'll have to break that if if he wants to do better. Um, in fifth, I have Scarny. Okay. Scarny, I'm learning, is a bit of a wild card, as a lot of players who prefer spy to sniper are. Mm -hmm. So, could be anything. Um, I have Roxo in fourth after uh, that. Oh, wow. And so, yeah, this, this order is strange because this gentleman has be beaten Roxo before, has lost to Scorny before. So these these guys have kind of all beaten mm -hmm. each other. So and rock, some the rock, paper, scissors on each other, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that leaves... Uh, that leaves me with Psychos Loss in third as well. Uh, and then, oh man. Strong player, hope he does well. And then in the top two, um, I have Ethan in second. Okay. And Scout in first. I do believe this is Scout's division to lose at the moment. But it, of course, depends. If Scout takes it a little easier, then Ethan might just overtake them. Yeah, yeah. Could, yeah, it seems like it, these are going to be likely the top two, but we'll see. Uh, it could go either way, or one mm -hmm. of them could just have a really rough time for some reason and not make it. But that's, you know, that's my party. Anyway, uh, on to Martini. What do you think? Yeah, so I think Ruby uh, from top to bottom is the most competitive division out of these um, because, you know, yeah. seven out of the eight players 
are very active, um, yeah. both like in casual and competitive. Um, and the one who's not is Iggy the Grifter, so I'm putting him yeah. in eighth place. This is going to be a, yeah. a tough go for him, yeah. just based on the competition. Um, in seventh, I have Aiko VT. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think seventh through third in this group is going to be very close together, so it's hard to predict. But, you know, Aiko a- 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 knows a lot about the game, and he he has, like, a good idea of... A good game sense, I would say, but has some issues executing during the game. So if he can improve on that, I, I think he could uh, end up doing better. Um, and in sixth place, I have Gentleman. Mm. This also kind of feels low. Um, and I guess I'll go ahead and say that Roxo is in fifth. And I feel like between these two players, like which one's better, it keeps like flip-flopping because yep. they have very similar results and it's hard to tell which one's better than the other. But I think right now I would put Roxo uh, the slight edge. And in fourth, I have Psycho Sloth. Oh, the dissenter. A little bit. Yeah, just barely. Not too much lower. Yeah, just barely. I think Psycho... Um, they don't play a whole lot outside of the competitions, I believe, mm-hmm. and they have some some varied results. But I think overall, uh, one of the stronger players in the group. Yeah. And in third, I have Jay Scarney. Hmm. Maybe That's maybe a bit spicy. of a wild card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I've played them a couple times. And he has a very, very bold spy, which I, which I like in a, in a player. Um, and I've also seen him sweep the level seven daily a couple of times, which is not many people can do. So I think, I, th- I think if he gets hot, uh, he can put up some pretty strong results. Mm-hmm. And the top two. So in second place, I have Scout. Okay. And then Scout had. Yeah, so Fire Lord Ethan would be yep, first. Yep, obviously. Yep. Um, Scout had a very strong performance in Winter Cup. I believe they were in a group with yep. Rosh and Guggy. And then they beat Hunu in the playoffs, all players who are in higher divisions. Mm-hmm. So I think Scout will, will do just fine here. Um, and I put Ethan in first because sort of what Rav said, I think Ethan is you know studying the game very closely. Um, he's been finding like these little animation anti tells, uh, you know, as if we don't have enough of those already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you know, maybe they'll get fixed one day. Someday, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let let me enjoy my copium, Yosh. Yep. But yeah, I have I have Fire Lord Ethan winning this division. Yep. And anyway, mm-hmm. all right. Yeah. So a lot of agreement on the top two. Uh, let's see if that holds out. Uh, Yosh, what do you think? So, uh, I mean, there are Yosh. exactly two places where you can put Aiko without sounding dumb. Either you put him first as a meme, or you put him <laughs> last to dunk on him. I have heard uh, that before somewhere. <laughs> I am, thankfully, an idiot. Uh, so, I am going to put the rust bucket of this division, Iggy the Grifter, in eighth. Okay. And, so, uh, Aiko in first, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll I, I was definitely tempted at some point to do okay. that, but right. maybe maybe the reality might be a little bit more harsh to our little guy. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of people that I know, there's a lot of people that I've interacted with in this division, probably like a... Well, definitely more than half. I think like mm-hmm. seven out of eight I've interacted with pretty heavily. Uh, I'm actually gonna put Scarney seventh. Okay. Uh which bit low compared to some other predictors, but yeah. um I think f- from what I remember he was not necessarily the best. That is this is gonna be a good chance to prove me wrong. Yeah. Uh let's phrase it like that. Um mm-hmm. Do I wanna keep appeasing Gagi or do I wanna not do that? 
think I'm gonna not appease Gag Zagagi and put Aiko 6. Hey, oh, Aiko 6, okay. Yep. And then this decision is tearing my heart out, but I am gonna put Roxo 5th. Okay. Oh, man. Because losing to me is not good enough to. Uh, however, he did make up for it by almost sweeping me in the placement. So yep. that's a pretty nice result to put up before the division. Um, you know what? Out of those four, I'm actually just going to take a cop out and put Psycho fourth. Ooh, and okay. I, I am going to do a silly and put Scout third. I've Whoa. been notoriously underrating Scout. Okay. And I'm not going to stop at this present moment. Yeah, um, okay. So, I, y you might see Gentleman being pretty high. I think Gentleman was the first out of this whole wave of people, which does include Ethan and does include Cheese Carney. And I still have quite a soft spot for him. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to put him first, though. So, no. Ethan first and okay. Enchant second for me. But if I were to put a highlight on someone, it would be Gentleman. Okay. All right. Interesting. So, Gentleman is either being massively overrated by you or underrated by everybody else. We'll see uh, what happens. Anyway. The uh, further we get from the swamp, the more wrong I'm going to be. Yep, so. Yep. Okay. So, so Masters is going to be uh, next. And we'll see how wrong you're going to be with these names. All right. The, now we're seeing some familiar names here. One very familiar name. Ah, of course. It's Gaggy. Everyone knows Gaggy. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Gaggy. And Beanie. Ooh, the IEs fighting each other. Anyway, and then, of course, Martini as well. Max Naxi. Okay, and then of course, all right, and there we go, and we're gonna we're gonna see how they they um fight in their first three weeks. Gaggy Beanie going up, going at it in week two. That'll be a impressive one, and then yep, everything else pretty normal. Anyway, we'll see what the uh, predictors have to say. I mean, experts. Sorry, what to say about the masters. <laughs> All right, Rob, do you want to go again? Can do. I can do indeed. This division is very spicy, I think. Yes. Um, it's got, it's uh, got a lot of very strong players. Are um, we going to censor that? Uh, no. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> go on. I considered it, but I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think... It's got a lot of, uh, I guess, old school um, in Hunu and Beanie who've been, who've been been around a long time and often seem to be in uh, in in the same division. Uh, and uh, I, I guess like this uh, like this time, we have players who have competed in SMC like 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 Lev and Martini who won the most recent tournament, and then we have Hoffman who is playing a lot at the moment, but it is probably his. Or their highest division, so the the, the, the opinion. So it's, it's it's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. uh, I have put uh, Hoffnung in eighth. Okay. Um, they had a really good result recently, despite losing uh, to Lev in Oops, the that's um, uh -huh. in the preseason. Um, so they've mm -hmm. shown they've shown that they can compete with players like uh, with 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 Masters division players. So I don't necessarily think they'll get sweeped. Or swept even, that's the right word. Um but I don't I can't really see um myself putting it anyone below them. So that's the reason why I've got them in eighth. Uh I've then have Beanie in seventh and Hunu in sixth. I think both of these players are very strong players, but the problem with them is that they only play the game when they're playing competitive spy party. So um mm -hmm. I I think if they were active, they could be they could be competing at the top of, the, of, of these divisions, but unfortunately they don't. So I can't really um, I can't really put either of them higher. Uh, I do think Hunu has the better upset ability, um, so I put Beanie higher than uh, I put Hunu higher than Beanie for that. I think. Um, then this is where it gets interesting. I think because the top five, well, I guess the I guess 
between second and fifth, I guess, because I'm putting Martini first, regardless of that. So you can probably, 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 you can probably <laughs> Yeah. Say Englishman, everyone. Yeah, you can yeah. lock that in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if yeah. I can get my words out. Because, <laughs> I mean, should be in Grandmaster. Yeah. So, yeah, I've yeah. heard Martini's pretty okay at this game. Just... Yeah, I, yeah. So we'll just. I've heard Martini's pre. We'll, we'll just put that one there. Yep. And then second Ooh. to fifth is, is, is just like. I don't know what to do, <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, I'm probably disrespecting Lev here. Personally, because of my, well, I guess because of my history playing him, I put him in fifth. Okay, yeah. But uh, he's one of those players that if they're playing someone who kind of, they really get countered by certain styles, but they counter other styles as well. So I think I'm happy with that, but they could definitely be, I mean, they could get second easily. So it's, 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 a, it's a hard prediction. Yeah. I've got Guggy fourth. I think Guggy's spy is probably the best in this division. Um, and his sniper is really improving and has been improving over the over the past few years. So I is a definitely a strong player. Could it could definitely be anyone in the, in in this division. But I think fourth is fine. I've got Acetine effect in third. Um, very very strong player has been playing. I guess plays quite consistently uh, in casuals as well and isn't rusty and uh, has a good spy and a pretty good uh, a pretty good sniper. So I think third is fine there. And I've got Max in second. Yep. Max has had his has has had history of competitive nerves, but I think recently it hasn't really shone through at all. Um, I think I think Max is a very good player and can get seconds so I'll, I'll put him seconds okay that's fair all right uh Hi. next up we got uh silver thorn yeah you ready, you ready? yeah so i think there's a not super clearly defined but i think there's a top four bottom four split in this division um mm -hmm. where within each group of four the order could be almost anything um i also put hafnung in eighth Okay. In this group, um, Hafnung is in this division by merit of how well they did in preseason. Um, they went 2 1, lost to Lev very closely. It was a 7 5, yeah. I believe. So I don't think Hafnung will get run over in this division. I think they'll play a lot of close matches. Okay. But yeah, I also can't see, I can't really see it ending another way. Um, I put Beanie in seventh. Um, oh. They, yeah, they don't play much anymore out of competitive, as Rob yeah. said. I think he's one of the players that is hurting, like with more activity to better. There's players who don't really need that or don't need that anymore. I don't think Beanie is one of them. Okay, here, here comes the outrage take. I put Gagi. Whoa, in sixth? first, <laughs> first, <laughs> first, right? In sixth. God damn Kagi it. in sixth. Wow. Um, this might be influenced a bit too much by the full sweep he took in preseason at the hands of Astatine, which is a matchup Gagi has wanted for basically ever since Astatine got good, and then then that happened. So I mm -hmm. think there's just gonna be probably too many days where Gagi wants to meme and and that's not gonna pan out mm -hmm. that's that's my take on this um uh Hunu is in fifth mm -hmm. for me um same thing Bini and Hunu are incredibly close in stats and skill most of the time I yep. think Hunu just a bit better um I have Max in fourth and Astatine in third. Okay. The only reason it's this way around and not the other way around is because Astatine just recently beat Max in the preseason. Yeah. That, of course, doesn't mean it has to end up the same way again. It also doesn't mean it'll end up that way when they play the entire field rather than just each other. But, you know, gotta decide somehow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want it to be really spicy and put Lev in fourth, 
but you know, the more I looked at it, the more I was like, that's just not right. So Lev goes in second for me, even though, okay. as we've seen at a little glance before, Lev's schedule is absolute garbage. Um, and get over. Like, Aaron Jesus did not love yeah. him the day we rolled. He is, has a very front-loaded schedule. He has all the tough matchups. Yeah. First four weeks, so he has to show up for a month uninterrupted, basically. And after that, it'll be completely out of his hands where he lands. <laughs> and I think that has the potential to, just knowing that, has the potential to do mental damage, a thing that Lav has been known to be a little susceptible to. <laughs> Um, but yeah, even so, even so, I'm I'm saying he makes it. He makes it anyway. Okay. Seven second, Martini in first because yep, yes, yep. Martini Pretty should good. be grandmaster at this point. Yes, probably. All right. Anyway, what do you, you got? Anything to say say about that, Martini? Or you know, any predictions for this uh, division that you're in? Uh, yeah, I think this is easily the division with the most interesting profile pictures. Yeah, yeah, that's um, for sure. But in terms of my uh, spy party analysis, uh, I would put, I would also put Hoffnung in eighth. I think he is the clear challenger of this division. Mm -hmm. um, everyone else is uh, very much an established player at this point. And Hoffnung, I mean, I say newer, but I think he has like, 5,000 some games at this point, so I don't think yeah, the uh, just his performance, I don't think his performance in preseason was a fluke by any means, and uh, he'll have a chance to prove himself here. Mm -hmm. In seventh, I have Hunu, who is a good player. Um, but you know, I think, like Silver said, this this group kind of has like a top half and a bottom half, and I could I could see seventh through fifth uh, being in any, any order. So mm -hmm. in sixth, I have Beanie. Okay. Yep. I have him rated a little bit higher because I was looking at his recent results, and they actually look pretty good um, in Winter Cup, at least. And then in fifth, I have uh, Gogo the Clown. Mm -hmm. I think he could... He could easily finish in the top half. Yeah. But I think the top four players are... He He will not be favored against any of the top four yes, players. Yes, there are, there are some I monsters, think. that's for sure. Um, and fourth, I have Lev T. Lev T. Fourth, huh? Yep. Okay, that seems to be kind of the average of the other two. Yeah, I think he could definitely finish higher. Um, but yeah, I mean, th this is a tough group. Yeah. And in third, I have Max Edward Snacks. Ooh. Max himself the Snacks in this. Yeah. Yeah. Max, um, I think he was gone for like a while, but then he came back sometime around Summer Cup. Yeah. And he's been playing a lot. So I think I think he's gonna he's gonna be pretty strong, pretty back in form. Um, I really wanted to put Max in the top two, but I also wanted my predictions to be consistent with the prediction league. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't. I had to put myself in the finals essentially. So my yeah. mind was telling me no, but uh, Damn Squib was telling me yes. I have to be there. So okay. <laughs> in second place, I have. Uh, myself. Whoa. Martini, please. I mean, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the league format, but uh, last year I didn't. I didn't do very well in this. Uh, if you remember, uh, Silver mentioned I demoted. Um, I lost Oops. a bunch of matches. They were close, but maybe maybe it's not my thing. So I, I didn't put myself in first, and I did put uh, Astatine effect in first. Okay. And I think. I, I also is... I also got demoted and look where I am now. Yeah, got demoted in here. Yeah, <laughs> and you're in the bottom league. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I I demoted and got a division higher. Yeah, yeah, because there are no lower divisions now. Yeah, I think Astatine um 
very fundamentally strong player on both uh, Spy and Sniper. I think they're pretty consistent. And they put up a pretty... They took Miniarek to the ropes in Winter Cup, so I think, I think their ceiling is pretty high. Okay, and now that leaves Yosh. Uh, uh, what are the what are the meme picks for this one? Uh, so there are two places you can put Gagi, <laughs> and not sound like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Here it goes. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. You, you you can either put him last as a meme, or you can give in to the hate, um, and put him eighth as well. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually pretty happy with the mindset that Hoffman has shown here in the chat just before, where he does say that he is here by, by accident, but it will be fun for him anyway, which is a pretty good mindset to approach such a league. Mm -hmm. I wish you the best, and I really hope that you will take a lot of improvement out of it, because this is a very annoying collection of players to come up against. Yep. So I Now... <clears throat> Hun and Bini, I mean, everyone puts them um, in the bottom, which I think is something that I should probably do as well, because I haven't been looking at this. But, well, both people are not around much. I'm just going to be contrarian for the reason of being contrarian and put Hunu below Bini, so mirror Martini in that regard. Okay. Um, Sounds good. And then there's the five, right? Yeah. Um, Max has been showing a lot of results in uh, recent events. I believe the Weekend Cup, he he's in the finals, right? I, I'm not sure how the finals went, but he made it pretty far. Uh, I'm not sure how it would translate to like an actual league, because there's a bit of a difference between a casual tournament and a competitive tournament in the nerves realm. Mm -hmm. As someone who struggles with some of those, or at least did at some point. Uh, I'm I'm actually just gonna put Max sixth and take the hate. Uh, fifth or right? I thought Beanie was sixth. Uh, fifth. Fifth. fifth okay. Sorry. I was gonna say. Yeah. So, I mean, so, have, the latest two out of the, if you really want. the latest of the bunch. Yep. Uh, and I am gonna go and put Lev fourth because okay. of his uh, three week. Uh, well, the opposite of a head start handicap, I suppose. Yep. Uh, he did mention that he doesn't have much time, but I do like that I can put him in the middle. Uh, and also join in on the under 18 left train. And also give him a motivation to train up and just start stomping mm -hmm. people like he can do. Which sounds pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna put Gug third, I think. That's the highest of anyone, but okay. I hope Gaggy will understand. Because we have a person who's literally cheating and the person who both of us love and want to see do well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to put the cheater first, which means S time, unfortunately, will take second. Oh, but wow, yeah. Wow, cheaters here, huh? We'll, we'll see how that will go. Uh, may, maybe there's an answer to Martini, but as of, as of now, as of this part of the country and this economy, probably not yep. yet. We'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough run from everybody that's not Martini in this group, that's for sure. Anyhow, uh that will bring us to the final division, the Grand Masters. And we'll see uh who made it in here. All right, yep, of course Rav, our our expert here. And then some other scary names. And yeah, all right, and we'll see their matches. First three. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be fun. All right, and then we'll jump into them predictions. Let's clear this out and get jump up. All right. Rav. How do you think you're going to end up here? Sorry, I'm just reading the chat and chuckling. Um, right, so this division, okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I came in to do the, the predictions thing, and the first thing I knew that I knew what was all that I knew that, that I was going to do was to put myself in fifth in Grandmaster. Fifth? And the only thing mm -hmm. I have to say about that is that I am tired. Yes. As for the rest of the, of the, of the division... <laughs> um, Everybody else is in it's... first. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, it's an, it's really interesting. Um, yep. Obviously, you've got you know the likes of Opie and Mini, who I've yep. been playing basically every tournament and always going to be yep. in the in the in yep. the top positions. Yeah. Um, then you have the likes of Pocky and Legov, who at their peak are like some of the best players in Spy Party. But then they have them days where they're not. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I mean, th th the thing is, they don't really. Yeah. But they just don't play enough to be at the peak all the time. Yeah. Um, Ada, who yeah, it's hard to keep of, that up, honestly. Is, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, this is Legor's first tournament in forever. I yeah. think. Um, and Pocky, whilst they play kind of now and then, and now they are really good. Uh, they, 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 um, they don't, yep. they don't play enough to really be to be at the, to be at the, at the peak. Yeah. Ada is a player who, um. He's very, very strong. Maybe doesn't play enough to be at the peak as well, but can give anyone a game. And yep. then you've got Grash and Wrestler, who had very, very good seasons in SML1 in Ruby. Um, both had excellent records and both put a lot of effort into the game and prep and put effort into understanding their opponents. Um, so in that, whilst they're, whilst they're still... Very, like they're both very skilled players. They don't have as much skill, I don't think, as the other grandmaster players. But they they will definitely be competing because they put that effort in. Mm -hmm. So that being said, I have put Popki in eighth, which pains right. me to say. Oh wow, that's because crazy. Popki's Popki is great. Um, and I really really want him to be higher, but the rest of the division is also very strong. Mm -hmm. Um. Seventh, I put Ada. Um, okay. Ada always gives me a good game. It's always very close. Um, and I think he'll give most players a close game, but mm -hmm. it's just getting those wins that is important for Ada. Um, I, I think that he'll, he'll, get, he'll get a lot of draws, but not a huge amount of wins. So I think seventh is fine. Yep. Uh, I've got Wrestler in sixth. I think Wrestler will put enough effort in to get sixth. Uh, I think people might see Wrestler in, in this division as being one of the weaker players. I don't really see that because Spy Party is not just who is the best. It's how you prepare for matches. It's, it's how you, it's how your mindset is. And Wrestler is a very competitive mindset person. And I think he can guess it. Mm -hmm. um, fifth. Me. Sorry. Fourth. Yep. <laughs> I've got Opie. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. Fourth for Opie. That's surprising. Yeah, I, it's just like the classic thing with OP is that, again, does he put the effort in? Mm -hmm. OP's spy is one of the best spies in the game. Uh, and his spy is always going to be very scary, regardless of how much he's playing. But his sniper, especially his sniper style, care, it, like, it matters how much he's playing. So if he's not playing much, mm -hmm. uh, I can see him dropping quite a lot of sniper games and still winning a fair amount of spy games. So I think fourth is fine for OP. Yep. Um, Grash in third might surprise people but like it's about time right like <laughs> he his casual sets are so good <laughs> and his competitive sets are still good but like you're, you're never playing like you are in casual but this is the this is the this is the this, this is the division where grash finally breaks through to the top i i it has to happen at some point yep um and then the top two mini and lagov i think could go either way yeah uh, lagov obviously is super rusty but looking at his schedule, he's got all the rusty players in the first week. So I can see him still winning in the first week. And then whilst he gets back into his groove, winning out from there. But, um, so I think I think second for Lagov is fine. Um, and I'm putting Minion first, partly okay. because he's the sort of player who can wake up at, and just basically just roll out of bed and play incredible spy party yeah but also because of spite because he always puts me higher so that's my division and i'm going to put mini winning as well okay that's that seems that seems reasonable mini is mini is pretty good i've heard but anyway uh silver thorn what do you think yeah 
That seems reasonable. I think pretty much any order seems yeah, reasonable. Yeah, just, um, just random, just ran RNG. The, <laughs> just your randomize it. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, we have a bunch of top players who just aren't playing anymore, yeah. um, but who are still the top players of the game, even so. Um, so it's still going to be close between them if they're all taking that approach, right? Yeah. And the difference is going to be who gets affected more by being inactive otherwise yeah. um and then we've got grush and wrestler who are still more active than mm -hmm. the the other grandmasters but they weren't super supposed to be here they promoted yeah. out of ruby last <laughs> last season didn't in. expect to be here and i think yeah. they weren't too happy about being here from what i heard talking to them anyway so what I did is I said, okay, you you go right back. Yeah. Um, I put wrestler in eights, crash okay. in sevens. Wow. Big, um, big difference. Well, yeah. For Grash, crash anyway. and wrestler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crash and wrestler played each other a bunch. It has, has been pretty back and forth from what I saw. Um, we'll see. Um, I put Adafi Yesh in sixth, which pains me to say yeah. um i would love to see him higher mostly because i love his attitude about this unlike crush and wrestler ada when faced with the prospect of playing in grandmaster has an attitude of let me at them rather mm -hmm. than get me out of here yeah. and it's it's very refreshing to see i love that a lot but yeah he he hasn't been playing um i wouldn't say he's fallen off a cliff exactly but he has fallen off um and well i i hope he'll do better on this i'd love to see it um next in fifth i have op Wow. OP, OP is newly touching grass, as we've heard, I think. And OP is kind of dependent on activity as well. So he I went out to touch grass right. and never came home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and never never came back. <laughs> um I've got Pofke and Force. Okay. Um an interesting thing you could see with Pofke in Winter Cup was how he kind of warmed up with each match in real time. Mm -hmm. So what happened in Winter Cup was um, Pofki lost his first match against Ethan, which was a surprise. It yeah. seemed like a total upset from Ethan. Then he tied Beanie. Beanie perceived to be a better player than Ethan, but that was a tie. And then in his last match in groups, he won against Ada. The match which... If he loses to Ethan, he's also supposed to lose. So to me, it looked like, you know, Pofk is warming up in real time. So um, Pofk's schedule isn't particularly front or back loaded. It's pretty even all through. So middle of the road seems about right. Okay. Um, I have Ligorf in third. I am not sure if this is overrating Ligorf, but I have a lot of respect for how he thinks about the game and the things he notices. And those things don't really seem dependent on activity super much. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how that works out. Um, I put Rob in second and okay. Mini in first okay. in the end. For the longest time, Mini couldn't, couldn't beat Rob at all, but this past SMC, he finally did it. So I'm gonna say he, he it again. slew his demon and he, he can do it now. They're <laughs> gonna be second and first and then they're gonna both retire because yeah. Rolf says he's tired. I don't think he's the only one. Yep. Yep, anyway, yeah, that that is what Spy Party does. It's a lot of yeah. a lot of bit a little bit stressful at times. As we all know. Anyway, uh, Martini, what do you think of all of this? Um, so in eighth place, I have OP rights. Whoa. So mm. much grass. That's a whole <laughs> salad over here. <laughs> it's a lot of green there, yeah. Moving on. In seventh place, I have uh, Grosh. Okay. So Speaking of grass. Touch Grosh. <laughs> In, no, 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 I mean, this crash. feels too low for Grosh um, because you know he he plays extremely well in casuals, like Rob said. Like I can I can never beat this guy, um, 
but I think I think maybe he in comp, in comp he does play a little worse. Maybe because he has a very unique uh, you know he like has like this memorization technique, and I think maybe it doesn't go hand in hand with the uh, competitive nerves and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, I could definitely see him doing better in here, but uh, someone has to be seventh in this group, and mm -hmm. uh, for me it's Garage. Um, and next up, I have Wrestler in sixth. Okay. And I think both he and Grosh are, you know, relative to the rest of this group are kind of seen like a tier below maybe. Mm -hmm. And I think this is like a, a good opportunity for them to, if they put up some good results, maybe they, they can like break through into that, into that mm -hmm. higher tier. Okay. Um, and in fifth, I have Pofke. Okay. Wow. I almost put Wrestler here. Um, because I, I think wrestler is very strong. Um, but Pofke, um, he almost beat Nebula in the first round of the Winter Cup. And based on the rest of the bracket, like he easily could have, if he won one more game in that set, he could have made it to finals. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think, I think Pofke at his best is still a very strong player. Um, I do have him in fifth, but uh, there's even stronger players coming up. So in fourth, uh, I have Lagorf Janine. Um, he hasn't been playing very much in the last year mm -hmm. or so. Um, so it might take him a little time to, to get back into shape. But I think um, once he is, uh, he still has one of the best snipers in the game. Mm -hmm. And in third place, I have Minioric. Whoa, third. Yeah, I think Mini obviously is a um, a very strong player. Um, yes. He, he he wins tournaments. He's okay. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple a couple of SMCs in there. Um, I think last last season he got like fifth in Grandmaster. Yeah, that's right. So maybe it is like one of those things where he plays better in like the tournament format. Um, he plays better under pressure, I think, maybe because he doesn't feel the pressure, uh, ironically. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have him in third, and in second place, I have Adafiesh. Okay, and then good old Rob getting first. Mm -hmm. Adafiesh is my my personal it's about time pick. Yeah, um, I think okay. you know he. He's been regarded as a very strong player uh, for a long time, but he doesn't have, to my knowledge, I don't think he's been to a finals or a tournament win yet. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think he's going to finally uh, put together one of his, mm -hmm. his best performances here. Okay. Would love and, to see it. Yeah. Yeah. And Rav, uh, not much explanation needed there. <laughs> How am I the only person that's put him in first so far? Yeah, I don't know. Even, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, best best sniper in the game, probably ever. Mm -hmm. uh, no further elaboration yep. needed. Yep, def definitely up there for sure. Uh, now, finally, we come to Yosh. Let us know what the what are the meme choices this time. Uh, so Ligor of Janine, you know the rest was a phrase. Yeah. Um, I have gone on my predictions because Grandmaster uh, to pull back the curtain was the only prediction that I actually tried to come up with something for okay. and then I just gave up at some point. Yeah, because you're like, these uh, are all the same. I had some numbers. I had some tendencies that I think make sense to me, but uh, honestly, frankly, my perception of how this division is going to work out has changed. And it's pretty silly right now because there are three people who are like the tournament veterans, uh, top echelon, mm -hmm. pretty much by everyone's standards. There's OP, Mini, and Roth, but all of them seem to be rather uh, unhappy with the current. Uh, uh, or, well, not unhappy, but not willing to necessarily try to harden this event, mm -hmm. which. Mm, some degree of tiredness, I think that the stakes for Mini could be a bit low, as people have said in the chat, and, well, Mini has felt 
beatable in Winter Cup, and if you're fi if you're beatable by me, then there's not really a good sign. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three people who are kind of kind of the new kids on the block with eight aggression wrestler who are maybe not necessarily like in the top tier contention, but. I feel like they are able to just grind up the games and they are able to get the results in. Mm -hmm. There's Ligorf, who I believe if Ligorf has agreed to play in this event, which I don't think he played in the first SML, right? He did not. Exactly. So he hasn't played for a while, but he agreed to play in SML too, which means that I think he's going to take it seriously. I think he's going to train it up. I'm mm -hmm. going to actually finish the street and put him first. Oh. And that's gonna be my spicy prediction for spicy. Uh, Grandmaster. And there's Povkin, who yeah. I know is the Rust Bucket, but he's the king of all Rust Buckets. Every time I predict that he's gonna be rusty, he proceeds to snap through some of the greats, and he always does it. And I don't know how he always does it, but he is always better than what I predict him to be. Uh, as far as the predictions themselves, uh, I do like the Duncan on OP. I do think that Ada does not necessarily have motivation at the moment, or at least I hasn't, haven't seen him in the community recently, which may be wrong, but I am going to put Ada in 8th, and I am going to put OP 7th. Okay. Uh, I am... I think I'm going to follow that up with Grash, because okay. I believe there's only so much time you can get to play Spy Party between all of the babies and the... Man mnemonics and the card remembering and stuff. Uh, after which, I think I'm gonna put Wrestler in here. Um, okay. Love you, my guy. You do do great things, but I do believe that Povki, Mini, and Roth are above. And then I'm gonna put Mini below Povki, and I'm gonna put Roth second. Okay, wow. So, a few spicy predictions, but honestly, to me, this division feels kind of like Emerald, where it's not about how good you are as a player necessarily, but more about your current form. Yeah. And despite Rolf saying that he's tired, he does actually kind of play the game. Kind of. Unlike Mini, unlike OP. So, yeah. That's going to be my vibe space predictions. Uh, grab your pitchforks and go secure me or something. Yep, yep. Yeah, anyway, I think that is it. That is all the players we made it through. Um, yeah, now I think we, I mean, I don't I actually don't have any overlays for it, but there is going to be a, uh, a system where uh, everybody, all the non-experts can uh, do bet on, uh, you know, the, on the matches, I guess, so to speak. Um, uh, you know, fake, fake spy bucks. And so, uh, yeah, if you think, uh, these experts are wrong, you know, put your fake money where your, uh, fake mouth is. Or real mouth. Or honestly. real mouth. We don't yeah. judge. Real mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to, can I say a few things? Yeah. Yeah. Before we close out. Yep, yep. Um, to the Grandmaster and especially the new Master players, please remember the draft format is different this season. Um, I will summarize that real quick in the Discord after this when I post the schedule. Um, I will also be posting the Prediction League links because Damp Squib can't be here today, um, but Spybox yep. cannot wait. And um, that's it for information. Um, many thanks to Rav, Martini, and Josh, and to you, Cletus, for mm -hmm. hosting. Yeah, no problem. I hope, I hope you all enjoy the season. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, yeah, good luck, everybody. Stay safe. Yep, yeah, stay safe. Good idea. All right, bye.